What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Last time, we were investigating the scene on the left side of the audience where the gunshot was fired. We found a bag in the trash can that had a gun and a, lo a map with the location of the two, um... The two guards. Yeah, the two guards. Let's see, what about this guy? You are with the television crew, are you not? Oh, uh, that's right, but... Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. Yeah, uh, about that. That will be difficult. What was that, pal? It's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, the guests knocked over the TV camera in the panic. All the footage was lost. If there was any footage left, it could have been vital evidence. Yeah, it's too bad, sir. What was that? Looks like you're in a jam, Mr. Edgeworth. That voice. Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth, the hero of justice. Kay Faraday is here to save the day. Hero. I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So, have you given up on this great thief business yet? Nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still in training to become the second Yadagarasu. About two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. It's only been two weeks? The mysterious phantom thief, the Yadagarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. This girl is the successor to the great thief. If you need to pick a lock or untie a rope, leave it to me. But, since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. Okay, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to join in the festivities. She does seem to have a fondness for these kind of events. Afterwards, I thought I'd come meet up with you guys. Well, we're glad to see you. You look like you've been doing well, pal. He never calls her pal. It's been a while, Gummy. I'm glad you're well, too. Okay, you said earlier that you could help me out. Hee hee hee. Please don't be surprised, Mr. Edgeworth. I took a photo that captures the exact moment of the crime. I see. Could you show it to us at once? The same as usual, I see. Can't you act even a little surprised? Yeah, that prosecutor is always in a sour mood. He even got annoyed when I called him my second mentor. Oh, by the way, I'm Nicole Swift, up-and-coming investigative reporter. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth's really... Enough idle chatter. Can you please just show us the photo? Tch, fine. Here. This is a photo I took right at the moment of the gunshot. It was awful. Everyone in the audience was running in panic. This photo depicts the president and his two bodyguards. Judging from the names written on the security plan, these two must be Rook and Knightley. And ever so rightly. What is this? Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. Oh, you got that sharp look in your eyes. Did you find something, Mr. P? In this photo, there is a contradiction. This photo? I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. The scene captured in the photo and the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time for my deductive skills to come into play. First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Um... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't click! So, it's either... I think it's either the bodyguard's position, or whatever the hell this is up here. Once I found the contradiction, I pressed the X button with conviction. Then, I present the evidence that contradicts the spot. Um... What contradicts it? Is it the security plans? Or is it the gun? Nope! 
I got it wrong. I don't... I don't know what they want from me. Like, what? What is strange? Please, please stop. Please. Please stop. Stop! Alright, hold on. Let's see what I need to do. There isn't really any... I don't know! I mean, there's the red spot on his head, but I don't know... Oh, okay! So it's the newspaper, and I don't know why. Okay? I'd like you to compare it with the photo K took at the scene. What do you mean? Oh! That's right. There's something on the president's forehead that wasn't there before. Isn't that blood? Is that... a mole? It's a mole? Are you kidding me? It looks like blood! Or laser pointer! Why do they... <sighs> Couldn't they have done something else, like a different beard style or something? Uh, in the photo of the incident, a red dot can be seen on the president's forehead. That is the laser pointer! That's the laser pointer! Okay, that's foolish. It's hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. That all? I thought you were onto something. Turns out it's just an itty bitty bug bite. You were talking with such a serious look on your face, I was getting all excited. The way to the truth always begins with small contradictions. Ooh, that's a great way of putting it. I'll be using that for my article. What do we have here? Red mole? Laser pointer. Boom, there it is. Red mole my butt. I've solved the mystery of the red mole. Eh? You mean it's not a bug bite, sir? It's nothing like a bug bite or an itchy rash. This is the light from a laser pointer. You mean a gun was aimed at the president's forehead? And right after that, the second gunshot was heard. That's certainly more than just an itch, sir. Indeed. I'm concerned for the president's well-being. It's become more and more likely that this gun was the weapon used in the attack. Okay. But why did the criminal use a laser pointer, sir? That's right. They would have had a beam of light shining from their hands. Pew, pew, pew! Way too conspicuous. And if you follow the path of the laser, you'll find out who fired the shot. That's not good at all. Oh yeah, I also took some other photos. Maybe the light from the laser pointer was captured on those. It's a long shot, but there may be a chance. Kay, could you show us those photos? Coming right up. Firstly, the photo from before the incident. Your face is taking up most of the frame. Hey, <laughs> I wanted to get a two shot of me and the president. Oh, look, the laser pointer. You can see the laser pointer and you can see Winston Payne. So that must be the chief prosecutor here. This was taken a little before the gunshots. And here's the one I showed you before. This was right after the first gunshot. And immediately after that, a second gunshot rang out. And then... There's the herded person right there in the red. What is this? You can't really see much in this photo. After that last photo, one of the running guests knocked me down. It looks like the shutter clicked just then. Uh, this doesn't look too helpful, pal. Well, those were all the photos I took. I'd like to examine these in a bit more detail. Investigate which photo? Moment, uh, oh, before the incident, yes. 
It is right there. Take that. I found it. What? Look just in front of this person in the red hood. There. Yes, that's probably the light from the laser pointer. Then, that red hooded person would be the assassin. We did it. It's all thanks to me, right? Right, as expected, the great thief has stolen the truth. Hehehe. <laughs> Perhaps the criminal can also be seen in the other photos. Let me examine these photos one more time. Moment of the incident. Oh, no, 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 no. The after the incident. Because I remember seeing, yep. Right over there. Take that. There. The red hooded assassin. Assassino. It looks like they're escaping in the panic, sir. We can see the direction they ran in. The Samurai Dog Banner. Right. The assassin escaped towards the right side of the audience area. Detective Gumshoe. Got it, sir. We'll investigate the right side of the audience area. I'm counting on you. Don't you fucking let me down, Gumshoe. Ooh, scary. The Red Hooded Assassin. Since the park was sealed off, there's nowhere they could have run to. If we follow their trail, we'll definitely catch them. Now then, let's continue with the investigation. We'll definitely find some traces of the assassin. Um, uh, target practice. The flag from the shooting booth is lying on the ground. The crowd probably knocked it over. Judging from all the- Hey look! Samurai dogs! On the, on the sign over there! Samurai dogs! You all remember samurai dogs. Judging from the footprints on the flag, there must have been quite a panic. Do you know where you can buy these flags, sir? Why do you want to know? Are you going to write gumshoe on the flag and carry it around with you? Gah! How did you know, sir? Don't tell me. Mr. Edgeworth, did you just read my mind? I meant it as a joke, though. For him to actually have thought that. There are toy rifles lined up neatly on top of the counter. Oh, it's a shooting booth, sir. I hate to brag, but I'm actually pretty good at these. I thought you said that you weren't good with guns. It's not that I'm not good with them. I just don't like guns, sir. Normally, that's what you would call not being good with guns. There's a shoe here. Hold on, I'll talk with them in a second. I won't- okay, something suspicious. I want to look at this first, actually. The Samurai Dog sign. They're selling Cheery Cherry Samurai Dogs. I don't believe I've ever had a Cherry Dog. That sounds awful. I've always wondered what do Cherry Dogs taste like, sir? They use cherries instead of a hot... Uh, uh, uh. Actually, I don't know what that would taste like. It'd be more a pastry than anything else. So it'd probably taste like cherries. But why do they call it a cherry dog if there's no hot dog in it, sir? Uh, hmm. You have a point. The truth about cherry dogs. It remains a mystery. What is this? This is... That's a red button, sir. Could this be... Found near the stand. <gasps> look under! Look under! Okay, yo, shut up! This! There's something red down there. Detective Gumshoe, please check underneath the food stall. Uh, food stall. Something stuck down here. Let's see. It's a red raincoat. Could this be? The assassins. It appears that he got rid of his raincoat before he ran away. Discarded by the red-hooded figure found underneath the samurai dog stand. Alright, what else is there? This cheap-looking food stall made out of plywood. They're selling samurai dogs. Mr. Edgeworth! I've got two dollars, sir! Am I imagining things, or are you suggesting we take a snack break during our investigation? 
course not, sir. I just thought, uh, it could help us with our investigation. I'll buy you a box when we're finished with the investigation. I'm sorry, sir. I, uh, what? What's with that look on your face? Is there a problem? No. That was just unexpected, sir. Um, are we done? Looks like we might be done here, actually. It is a cheap looking, oh, we already did this. Okay, okay, okay. We must be done. Unless we're supposed to, uh, supposed to do something, but I don't think so. Or there's logic. There might be something I have to do. Okay, hold on. Uh, assassination, attempt, revolver. Didn't I already try connecting these two before? There's no harm in trying again. I think I'm gonna lose the point though. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I've done it. Uh, I've done it before. All right. Let's just back out. All right. Uh, what else is there? Nope. I already talked to her about everything. What about K? What's up? What do you think? Just like a real hero, right? Yes, a new truth has come to light thanks to you. I'm trying to live up to the reputation as the second generation Yadagarasu. Still, I hope to show you more of what I learned from my training. Your two weeks of training? Okay. In regards to your training, please tell me you didn't... Don't worry, I didn't steal anything. I'm still taking a break from being a great thief. That's nice to hear. I want to hurry up and fight for the truth, just like my father. But I'm still in training. And I haven't found any members to join me yet. The Aldegarasu, huh? She said that she wanted to recruit some girls to join her. There just aren't that many girls out there who want to become the Great Thief. A Great Thief. Well, I would hope not. About the case. This photo of the president and the president from the newspaper. No matter how you look at it, the red mole is a contradiction. It's hard to believe that the red mole just appeared out of thin air. I got it. Let me steal a line that you said earlier. The way to the truth always begins with small thefts. That's not what I said at all. Stealing is an art. I rearranged it to fit my style. Your version seems to have lost the true essence of my words. Okay, you know what? They would have definitely pointed out something if I had fully examined the scene, so I missed something, I just don't know where. Just don't know what it is I missed. I mean, we saw the button. There's the sleeve button. Nothing out of place, it's not turned inside out, and the button is still tightly in place. Even though it was thrown away, it looks a bit too clean. I know exactly what they want the- oh, god, no. I know exactly what they want. This. The fact that that sleeve doesn't have a button. This sleeve, it's inside out. It's also missing a button. Boom, there we go. All right, logic. Now we finally got something to work with. Red button and raincoat sleeve. It looks like the fallen button came from the raincoat. It probably fell off when the assassin took off the raincoat. If you look closely, you can see that the right sleeve is inside out, sir. It appears they took it off in a hurry. The button was probably torn off. After shooting the president, the assassin disposed of the gun and the bag in the garbage bin. Then, during the panic, they moved from the left to the right side of the audience area. The bolt's trajectory led us to suspect someone who was on the left side of the audience area. The assassin then took off the raincoat and hid it under the stand. The assassin was in a hurry to remove the raincoat. That's why there are signs that the right sleeve was hastily removed. It also explains why the button was torn off. If that's the case, why is the left sleeve not in the same state? 
That sleeve isn't inside out. On the contrary, the button is still tightly fixed. What do you mean, sir? To find the answer, we must examine this raincoat in detail. That means their arm wasn't in the coat, probably. I like to investigate the inside of this raincoat. Gumshoe, got it. Blood. This is a blood stain. Judging by the location, this is most likely the assassin's own blood. So we're looking for someone who's injured, sir. Not just any injury, detective. An injury on their left arm. What do you mean, sir? The criminal was in a hurry to take off their coat. That's why the right sleeve is inside out. On the other hand, the left sleeve remained unchanged. How did the difference arise? Quite simply, the assassin couldn't get his arm through the left sleeve. If you think of it like that, it all starts to add up. Furthermore, a bloodstain was found on the left side of the raincoat. I see. He couldn't get his injured arm to fit through the sleeve. Yes, indeed. I'd say the possibility is quite high. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!